Good morning to all my viewers and subscribers. Oliver's Metal Fabrication. Right about now, um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm on a project. The project is about building this 55 gallon drum into, turn it into a barbecue grill. As usual, you know I have some videos up there showing you guys the barbecue grill made from 55 gallon drum. You know, this type of drum that I'm using right about now is alcohol coming to it, so it's not that not the not that dangerous. It's only dangerous in our sense that whenever time I'm about to cut cut it open, I have to fill the drum with some water first to rinse it, so it won't be flammable whenever time the sparks come off of the cutting this itself while cutting you know so I start the project already so I'm just gonna show you what and what make up this barbecue grill along with the steel and the type steel you know that I'm using a rebar I should say you know so next thing um, Maureen and Desmond, I want to big up Maureen and Desmond. The Maureen and Desmond YouTube channel. You know, Maureen is someone that I well I grew up with for quite for a long time. You know? And then make a move to the US and do them things. So since I've lately me realize, no realize, well we talk and she told me that well them have a channel. So, you know. I support her, ch her channel 100%, you know, so why not um, advertise their channel as well, you know, so you can go and visit the Maureen and Desmond channel, it's basically about like physical education, like to stay fit, um, it's about um, jogging, walking and, and stuff like that, you know, I think they have a channel up there that um, with some kids picking apples, you know, it's like some adventure thing, you know, and, and, and um, I think the mother channel up here where she was in the kitchen, I think she was blending up some apple and stuff like that. You can go and check it out, you know, you know, and, and thing and support her. You understand? So anything I see up there you like, you just give her a thumbs up and you can comment and leave your comment in the comment, comment section so right about now as I said I'm gonna try and finish up this project I've started it already and thing you know so I'm gonna show it to you guys here it is stand if you look closely the steel is rough this is half inch corrugated rebar half inch corrugated um, this is the type of material they, that they use in construction to build house and stuff like that fences and stuff like that but we can use it and do this kind of work as well because of steel it is you know so we use it and frame up the, 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 the stand itself which the drum fit in between you know this is some hair holes and this is a bigger one I'm not gonna cover this one okay as you can see the labels are still there you know as you can see I don't know if the picture quality the picture quality is not a hundred percent but sometimes in life you have to start from somewhere to read somewhere you know so as you can see it's a dangerous or danger attention whatever whatever it's dangerous anyway because if you notice you see them show you none of that no cutting touch allowed but as I said to you before um, before I cut the drum into two half I first fill the drum with water to rinse it so in that way it won't explode on you you know so you can see them put up them sign telling you that no fire 
is allowed near this drum all right while it has in the the alcohol you know you see that yeah so as you see here the slip thing. I do it in many different ways you know sometimes some people lift in and they have to be putting something underneath to catch the top here they don't have to do this with my product all they have to do is this one. and it stays up and we can always build this shaft here into a fold in shaft like a latch you know yeah this is the jaw pipe the jaw pipe is made from um, one by quarter one by quarter by one by quarter hollow section steel or um, other section pipe you know some people call it pipe which is a square same way you know but me we here use it as like hollow section because it's hollow here you can see See? So this is a draft pipe. The draft pipe works in a sense where and we have a ventilation system like here. Ventilation system. If this is up, well oxygen will pull and go inside and come all the way here and generate the coal charcoal the charcoal will be rest onto this piece of flat sheeted it's a piece of job that I cut out and place it inside brackets underneath nut and bolt so it ice itself off the job so the coal doesn't rest direct, directly there and here you know yeah and as I said in a previous video that I post this you can just fold it up you can just take it out and put it elsewhere or whatever or wherever and clean out take out you know yeah so if I look close this is some holes here this is, these holes are for water in case whenever time you wash it out and you finish doing what you're doing with it rinse it out with soap and stuff and left it for dry water that will settle up in here will just run through these holes and here as well and here you can use as a ventilation system as well to pull here inside as well as this one but I will not cover this one shall remain just the same so as I can see I use brackets here nut and bolt see nut and bolt you know two by quarter inch nut and bolt yeah here as well this one has to close from outside here notice because this was in the way so I couldn't really deal with it you know and as I say the inches them they are ribbit yeah they are riveted a rivet some people call it ribbit some people call it rivet you know I haven't installed a handle as yet. You look closely, you can see the inches. Uh, three of them, because you want a proper balance. It's the first time building one of this type of barbecue grill using the half inch corrugated rebar, you know? first time using it. I always use angle iron to frame here, you know. Well, 
it is what the customer want so I give it to the customer you understand it is not really based upon my will to build it by using the corrugated steel corrugated half inch steel or corrugated rebar half inch rebar it's not my intention it's the customer so I just give the customer what he or she wants you know you can't fight them down you know even when they know the proper way or the proper type of material to use you know because I would use um, angle iron on the edge like on the other videos that I post before but um, you know sometimes sometimes you just have to deal with it like this because you know it is based off of spending the amount of cash you know it's gonna cost them to buy other material different type every every different type of material has different value you know comes with different value different price different costs you know so you can see so all I have to do is just put this inside It's a charcoal here, you know. But the grill, see there, open, yeah. And the reason for having this type of grill with the hinges there to open is because sometimes you want to generate more heat onto your chicken or your pork or your fish and in ways to do that sometimes some people have like a tall fork and them stay like this no you don't have to do that all you have to do is just do like this and you have to, if you have meat on here you just take them up put out the here and just lift this and take control of your coal and scatter your coal or wherever you want to be put it whether you want it to be on the left or you want it on the right or you want it in the center so be and then you do like this and then you take up back your meat them and spread it all over here same way just the same as how meat would be over the side so it is unique anyway you know i'm gonna put a a little counter here using the same mesh the same mesh here you know expanded metal which is the correct word so I'm gonna put a um, a counter here a little counter with expanded metal onto it as well and leave it like that and you know if you notice I put a piece of flat here um, to base it onto the bottom that it doesn't sink in the earth as you know based upon the soil or based upon where they want to put it to do their barbecue you know so I put a little piece of flat metal this is a 1 by 316 flat metal just to make it have a better sit on the surface you know there it is it look good don't it look good man Trust me. As you see there, this is the counter piece. Here. I'm gonna put another piece of steel in between. I like a pattern into the middle. Look neat, don't it? Come on. That is the expanded metal. Very sharp. 
So you have to be careful when using these type of material. I hate that. When welding, or not even say welding, when tack welding, expanded metal, it is a very technical thing to do because if you're not careful, you catch flash just from the when the arc ignites, you know. Sometimes you catch flash, so you have to be very careful and thing, you know. You have to be skill, skillful when doing it because I don't use the mass over my face. The shield, the welding shield, I don't use it to tap these things. I just estimate where I'm going to put the lecture and just close my eyes just in time. Sometimes um, the plant is so high, the welding plant, that it does, exp it does ignite out of thin, it does ignite right before you and it catch you half guard and you high see all of that you know what i mean so that's to be you have to be careful when tack welding this type of material expanded material you have to hold it and then imagine where you're going to put the tip of your electrode onto the job okay there it is Be like this. See that little piece here? This is what is gonna use to just catch this counter here. It's gonna stop onto here. All it needs now is just a stop underneath there to stop it. See? Onto this piece of material. You can see here, I'm burning out this 55 gallon drum, which is a, which I turn it into a barbecue um, grill. So I'm just burning out the residue as usual, you know. As you can see here, I'm installing the handle, the handle onto here. I'm gonna make it a little slant up like this, you know? Yeah.
it on, paint on this black, flat black. Make it quail and add a, another coat to it to get a better result. Until better come, cause better must come, you know. You understand? Once you're a living person on earth and you have life and you have breath, a blowing on you, something will come for you, you know? Something is in the atmosphere for you. You understand? You just have to just think about it. Dream about it, sleep about it, eat about it, think about it. That's how life is. So, we just have to use the paint and paintbrush for a time. Not for long. You still can't do without doing things the old school way, because this is the old school way before compressor was exist, you know? And all those things. So, I just circle, you know? Time is the master. Thank <laughs> you. 